I remember standing in front of the Dallas branch of the FBI, thinking when I turned over the key, they might want to arrest me because I had already shut down the system. They felt they had the right to demand the private key for my business so they could decrypt everyone's communications and isolate those belonging to their target. His name is Edward Snowden, the leaker of classified NSA documents that spell out a secret surveillance program. You don't fully understand the importance of privacy until you've lost it. Lavabit is an encrypted communications company that I started specifically in reaction to the announcement by Google that they were launching their Gmail service. I believe privacy is an inalienable right. When you're being watched, your behavior changes. You start doing things differently. You start saying things differently. Privacy is critical to the functioning of a free and fair democracy. I was concerned that Google was going to be scanning people's messages and using that information to profile them. So I thought, heck, why don't I create the type of email service that I would use myself, the type of service that a geek would love. And that's kind of how it all started. When you look at the geek ethos, we value things like privacy and security and trust. After I launched the service, headlines started coming out regarding national security letters that allowed the FBI to collect information from service providers without being adjudicated or reviewed by a judge. And I was very concerned with that particular mechanism because I felt it was unconstitutional. As a service provider, I was very concerned that I would receive one of these letters someday and I'd be put in this difficult position of having to choose between defending the Constitution or going to jail. And of course, knowing myself, I knew I would pick jail every time. I had a knock on my door by a couple of FBI agents. There was a user of my system that they were particularly keen on surveilling. The US government wanted to access Edward Snowden's email. The man who leaked National Security Agency secrets, he had a love of bit account. Now, the site's owner, Lauder Levison, vowed to continue fighting rather than comply with the U.S. government. I wasn't comfortable with that request. I decided to shut down the service and turn over the key. I mean, I was doing everything I had worked so hard to prevent from happening. And I just couldn't believe that you know, it took 10 years to build that business into a success, and I destroyed it in one night. But I mean, think about the alternative. The alternative was to become complicit in crimes against the American people. To me, that was the worst of the two choices. After I suspend my email service, I find myself with a lot of free time on my hands. And it just sort of hit me. We know how to solve this problem. Why don't we go ahead and do it? The system I designed for LavaBit had the deficiency of not protecting the message before it arrived and not protecting it after it left the server. I'm restarting the LavaBit email service with the same type of encryption that I was doing on my servers before, but could now be done on the user's device itself. It makes mass surveillance obsolete because it would be impossible to intercept or steal everybody's key from every device. The simple fact is, that I took on the LavaBit project because I realized that I was one of only a handful of people on the planet who had the necessary skills. I felt like I had an obligation to use that knowledge to solve what I felt was an incredibly important problem. We now have three and a half billion people with email addresses. I think we're still going to have a fundamental problem with security on the internet unless we add encryption to email. There's a very good chance 
there's some piece of information out there that you don't want someone to know. And if an authority ever came into power that possessed that information, stripped you of control over it, they could bend you to their will merely by threatening to expose that piece of information. And if those are the people at the wheel, well, let me ask you this. When was the last time you didn't trust yourself 